Have you ever wondered how Belgium became the economic powerhouse it is today? Our tale begins in the early 1830s, with Belgium's economy fueled by the might of coal, steel, textiles, glass, and the shipbuilding industries. These were the cogs and gears that powered Belgium's growth, transforming it into a beacon of industrialization. As the 19th century unfolded, Belgium was in the vanguard of the Industrial Revolution, one of the very first countries to embrace this transformative era. This pioneering spirit, coupled with a robust industrial sector, cemented Belgium's reputation as a force to be reckoned with on the global economic stage. But, as we all know, the path to prosperity is rarely without its bumps. And for Belgium, there were certainly challenges ahead. As the decades rolled on, the country would be tested by global events and economic shifts. Thus, the stage was set for Belgium's economic prowess, but it wasn't always smooth sailing. Like many nations, Belgium was not immune to global economic shifts. The 70s brought two major oil price hikes in 1973 and 1979, significantly impacting Belgium's industrial sector. The country, once the heart of Europe's industrial revolution, was now wrestling with challenges brought on by these global market changes. Belgium's response was swift and decisive. The government stepped in, hiring the redundant workforce into the public sector. This move aimed to cushion the blow for those who were suddenly left without work and maintain economic stability. To further mitigate the impact, the government subsidized industries that were losing their international competitive edge due to the oil crises. These measures were not without their consequences, however. The increased public sector employment and industry subsidies resulted in a significant strain on the Belgian economy. The oil crisis marked a pivotal moment in Belgium's economic history, prompting a shift in economic policy. The 80s and 90s were decades of recovery and preparation for Belgium. Shaking off the shackles of the oil crisis, the 1980s witnessed a significant shift in Belgium's economic policy. The Keynesian approach of the 60s and 70s was replaced with a consistent focus on export-led growth and a more orthodox approach to public finances. This was more than just a response to a crisis, it was a strategic preparation for a bigger transition. As the 90s rolled in, Belgium's economic vision was clear, to become a part of the European Monetary Union. To achieve this, new measures were implemented. The focus was on tightening public finances, reducing public debt, and maintaining low inflation. These efforts were not in vain, as in 1999, Belgium successfully joined the EMU, a testament to its economic resilience and adaptability. Entering the EMU marked a new era for Belgium's economy, setting the stage for the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. The new millennium brought its own set of challenges, as the echoes of the Y2K bug faded into the background, a new concern loomed on the horizon. The financial crisis of 2008 to 2012 shook the global economy, and Belgium was not spared the tremors. But the country approached the crisis with a focus on supporting domestic consumption, more so than most other Euro countries. This strategy cushioned the blow, reducing the urgency for structural reforms, and enabling the economy to weather the storm. However, the winds of change were blowing. In 2013, a shift in the political landscape paved the way for a new economic emphasis. The government of Charles Michel, taking office at the end of 2014, marked a turning point. The focus now was on strengthening the supply side of the economy. A renewed emphasis on production, on providing goods and services, began to drive economic policies. Yet as Belgium navigated these economic waters, a new crisis emerged. The COVID pandemic, a global health crisis of unprecedented scale, shifted the political focus once again. This time, the priority was managing the health crisis and mitigating its socio-economic consequences. The pandemic put a strain on economies worldwide, and Belgium was no exception. However, Belgium's economy demonstrated resilience. In 2021, despite the ongoing challenges of the pandemic, the Belgian economy bounced back impressively. The country saw the fastest annual GDP growth in a decade, a testament to its adaptability in the face of adversity. Through the financial crisis, the shift in economic focus and the COVID pandemic, Belgium has navigated a complex and changing economic landscape. The country's approach, balancing domestic consumption with a robust supply side, and prioritizing health and socioeconomic stability in times of crisis, has been key to its resilience. Despite these challenges, Belgium's economy demonstrated resilience and adaptability. So, where does Belgium stand today? 
Belgium, a country once known for its coal, steel, textiles, glass, and shipbuilding industries, has evolved significantly over time. Today the economy is more diverse and complex, shaped by the many challenges and opportunities of the past. As we step into the third decade of the 21st century, Belgium's economy is showing signs of resilience and growth. Despite the unprecedented global crisis brought about by the COVID pandemic, the economy has performed remarkably well. In 2021 Belgium experienced its fastest annual GDP growth in a decade. This recovery underscores the robustness of the Belgian economy and its ability to bounce back from adversity. The country's GDP, a crucial indicator of economic performance, stood at a remarkable 552 billion euros as of 2022. This figure encompasses various aspects of the economy, including consumer spending, housing investments, and business and government spending. It also reflects the balance between the value of Belgian exports and imports, highlighting the country's active participation in global trade. Speaking of trade, Belgium continues to maintain a strong presence on the global stage. The balance between exports and imports plays a vital role in the economy, contributing significantly to the country's GDP. As a small open economy, Belgium has always relied heavily on international trade, and this remains a key feature of its economy today. Belgium's current economic situation is a testament to its resilience, adaptability, and dynamic nature. The country has navigated through numerous challenges, from the oil crises of the 70s to the financial crisis of the late 2000s, and most recently, the COVID pandemic. So as we look at Belgium's economy today, we see a picture of resilience and dynamism. It's a narrative of a country that has successfully navigated through the tides of change, adapting and evolving at every turn. And there you have it, the story of Belgium's economic journey. From the early days of industrialization to navigating the challenges of the 21st century, Belgium's economy has proven both resilient and dynamic.